Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love so Blair is applying Simcoe to our deck. Um, the deck is in a pretty rough condition and needs some other work, like the caulking needs to be trimmed back. But um, we're gonna get the Simcoe on and it made such a big difference in the cockpit. We did a lot of research on how to care for our 18 year old Teak. Most people just recommended rinsing it off with salt water or fresh water to clean it. Maybe use a soft brush across the grain, but that was controversial. And sealing it with the Simcoe is what we came up with. Let us know what you think. All right, so um, we are working on a relatively clean deck. And um, the reason we're not getting it all perfect is because we're heading into winter and we just want to go ahead and get something on. And then in the spring, we'll probably trim the caulking back and do a little bit of, there's a few caulking repairs we need to do. And then of course we'll clean it and apply more of the Sumco in the spring. But we did the cockpit and it looks, for just one coat, it looks impressively pretty good. All right, so we are aboard rejoicing. We're about to leave, uh, but we made it more of a work weekend. We got quite a bit of the teak done. Um, it was already relatively clean and then we added Semco, it was just kind of a stain and sealant. Um, but we also met this amazing fellow who um, has already helped us with a couple of little things. But we have on the boat, there's about eight little punch holes in different places in the gel coat. Totally normal for a boat of 18 years old. And then he discovered there's eight prior little holes um, that used to be for the rivets of the old Dodger before this one was replaced. Um, so he's gonna fill and um, paint over all those holes. And then in the spring, he's going to come back and um, buff all of the um, uh, topside gel coat to get it all as more consistent. Um, and he may well also do a little something with the teak that would involve um, very, very gently sanding down to get rid of the caulk lines or above the teak get those even and then we may eventually trough those slightly because ideally you want water to collect um, as far as I understand it in the cock line that keeps it off the teak and then we added our cute little monkey fist and these are just for the pelican clip holes so you just go bloop and our captain friend Steve had some kind of like that so bingo it's pretty cool then you're not getting all torn up on the metal. And about half of all the teak on the decks, there's a lot more teak forward than aft. So we're only a third of the way down, but two thirds of the way it becomes really narrow. So I think next time we're here, we'll bang that out at like an hour and a half. We are slowly changing out the running rigging and Daniel from the sail loft help us to put up our new main halyard. We have a new main halyard and holder. It's the nice green one there. And now Blair and Daniel, Daniel from Quantum Sales are um, taking down the jib halyard because that's gonna get replaced and Daniel's gonna take it back to the shop and measure it. So yeah, at the sail loft, um, Daniel worked on the mainsail, just looking at places that needed a little extra stitching and reinforcement. I mean, overall, looking at the sail, it looks to me, I, from what I can see, it's still in pretty decent shape. So we may be able to get a number of years yet out of the main. The uh, Genoa is probably a different story. We may have to do something with it a little bit sooner. So we may replace the Genoa in like five to ten months. We have finished applying, no, actually that's not true. We're almost finished applying the Simcoe and it looks really amazing. What we um, found, we did the rag at first, 
but we actually found put, applying with the brush works much better. Just felt like we got it into the crevices easier. We do still have the swim step left to do. We're waiting for a track, a slippery track for the boom or for the mast to make the sail come down. And also we're waiting for our headsail, which is all for some repairs. And once they put the headsail up, they also will put in a new jib halyard. Midweek, we drove down for our first beer can race with the Richmond Yacht Club on Grand Cruise, Alex and Chris's boat. I was just along for the ride while Chris, his friend Eric, Bill and Blair did the sailing. Part was just getting out on the water and getting to see the other people we knew on their sailboats. wind so there wasn't much of a race but we had a great time we popped a beer and enjoyed the sunset and the city light Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it I hope you'll give us a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing Show me life show me love. Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me love, show me love